there's carpet on the floor outside, which means it must be the 2021 Monaco Yacho. Welcome back to Monaco. I'm super excited to be in Monaco. I haven't been here since 2019, the first time uh, in, in a long time that I, I haven't been to Monaco for an entire year. And we all know why that is. This is why I'm wearing my chin diaper right now. Uh, someone called it a chin diaper in the comments a while back. Uh, there, is, there is a very strict uh, COVID mandate here at the show. I have to wear this everywhere, even outside. Um, I'm just pulling it down to film on camera and I'll have to put it back up again just so you know just just be prepared for that uh, Rather not have any comments about why why you're wearing a stupid mask I know it's stupid outside, but I have to wear it to be in the shower Otherwise, I'll get kicked out. So anyway all that aside. I'm super excited to be here at the show There are some amazing yachts here this year just off, off over here. You've got artifact here I featured that recently artifact 80 meter novice crew. We've got Yacht IJ, IJ8 spelt. I, I'm reliably informed by the guy on the gate that it's pronounced IJ. It's a 108 meter Bonetti. We're going to go into this in more detail. I'm just giving you a, an example of what's at the show. It is a smaller show this year, although if you'd never been to the Monaco Yacht Show, you would never know that. But because I've been to everyone since 2016, I think, um, I can see that it is smaller. But well, it's better than none at all, right? I mean, last year we had nothing. I, I did my own Isis Man's Monaco Yacho videos last year because there was no Yacho. It was cancelled at the last minute. But we're back. The Yacho is back. I'm very excited. Uh, let's start going through everything that's uh, on show this year. This boat behind me is one of the most high profile boats out there, uh, Moti Yacht Tatouche. Uh, if you know Paul Allen, you'll know he, the late Paul Allen, should I say, he was one of the uh, founders of Microsoft with Bill Gates, and he was a big fan of the super yacht. He owned three super yachts um, when he died. Uh, this is one of them. The other one, the, the biggest high profile one was Octopus, which is just sold. He owned Tatouche, and he owned another boat called Medusa. Now, in, after his death, because he didn't have any kids, all of his wealth went to his sister. And his sister is now uh, looking after his uh, estate, as they say. And she's selling, uh, she sold the octopus and she's selling this boat. I don't know what's happening with the third one, but whether she's keeping it. Um, but tattoo she is for sale. All right, guys, behind me here, we have Moti Yacht Kismet. Uh, 95 meter Kismet. This was in a, in, a, in a movie called Six Underground with Ryan Reynolds. You can go and check it out if you haven't seen it. This is a quite a high profile yacht, I would, imagine, I would, I would say. Um, owned by a um, Pakistani American, Shahid Khan. Um, it's a 95 meter, it's a Lursen. It's been for sale for a while now. I'm not quite sure the reasons for the sale whether he's building a new boat or not, I'm not quite sure. If you, if you have any information on that, please put comments below. I'm gonna do a more in-depth view of these boats uh, in the next few videos, but I'm just giving you a quick look at what's here right now. So in 2019, I did a, a, I did a tour of this boat and it was a rush tour. And the, the crew member, unfortunately, was paired me with another guy who was in a hurry and the video was, was rushed. So I'm, I'm gonna try and get back on this boat and do a, a more, a more uh, comprehensive tour of the boat. I did do an AV tour of this boat, which was, uh, which was very good. Got to see a lot of behind the scenes information about how the AV systems work on board. So uh, check that out. Uh, I'll put a link in the, all the usual places to check it out. But yeah, hopefully we'll get back on board this boat in the next few days. All right, so uh, Monaco Yacho wouldn't be Monaco Yacho without the car deck. And uh, this year we've got uh, Brabus. 
out in force with some crazy looking vehicles. And not only do they have crazy looking vehicles, well, this is not a crazy looking vehicle, obviously, this is a beautifully restored uh, Brabus classic uh, uh, Mercedes SL. But um, behind over here, you see some crazy stuff. Uh, so they have two sections, the classic and the, and the uh, massively upgraded, powerful ones. They also have a boat this year, which is just behind me off camera here. So we'll, we'll be taking a look at that as well. But yeah, I, I, always, uh, I always come into car place before uh, I finish the show. There is a nice 911 over there as well. A beautifully restored 911 here. Something weird going on with it. It's got some crazy pipe work underneath the car. I'm not quite sure why, but I'll find out. We'll, we'll talk to the guy at some point, hopefully. Um, but yeah, it's beautiful. Uh, it's something timeless about the 911. Uh, about this, this particular shape of 911 um, and uh, yeah I, I just uh, always stands out to me in a crowd some crazy um, cars as well here which I've no idea what they are but we'll check them out all right so this is this is a super yacht alley, I call it. And this is where all of the companies that build the super yachts have their, I, I mean, I, I don't want to call them stalls because they're so impressive. They look more like shops. They look like permanent shops, but they're actually not. It's actually built just for the show. And it's quite impressive what they do, the length they go to, and it looks fab. And obviously there's a reason for that because they've got a reputation to uphold. Now, can you imagine the kind of deals that get done here? the kind of money that exchanges hands. I, you give them lots of money, they give you a super yacht. So it's quite incredible. And this is Silver Yachts right here. They are the ones that build Bold and Silver Wind. Two boats to, uh, that I'm possibly gonna look at in more depth during the show. All right, so this is Damon Yachting's uh, vessel Time Off. This is a support vessel and they're making quite a name for themselves in the support vessel industry or not industry, but the support vessel business. Um, they've made quite a number of, of, of these yachts recently. Uh, one of the most interesting ones that they've built recently is one for the Sea Shepherds. If you know the Sea Shepherds, they are the, the people that are um, trying to save the whales and, and other kinds of marine life. Well, they had a, a yacht built, or they had a vessel built, purpose built by Damon. I think it was their first brand new yacht and they had it built specifically for their efforts in fighting uh, whale, whale uh, killing and stuff. But they're yeah, very interesting, very impressive crane there as well. Look at that crane. That really uh, get, grab your attention here at the show. All right guys, so this is, this is a Super Yacht DB9 and this is a Palmer Johnson, but it's, it was built in the UK, not in the US, uh, delivered in 2010. And uh, yeah, it's um, uh, 52 meters in length and uh, 495 gross tons. So it's a small boat. It has a capacity of 10, 10 guests and it has a top speed of 31 knots. Very impressive. All right, so this is most yacht Tatiana. And this is built in Turkey. And it's, it's one of the, it's, it's a joint largest yacht ever to be built in Turkey. It's an 80 meter boat. Uh, or 263 feet and uh, it was delivered in 2021 now you can charter this boat uh, from uh, $775,000 a week in the winter season or in the summer season for $775,000 a week uh, top speed of 19 knots and it can take 12 guests in 8 cabins with 20 crew aft section of uh, Tatiana and you can see it's a medieval torture chamber <laughs> uh, any kidding it's a spa obviously a spa table and uh, this is a sh this is a, a shell door that opens out and then it's basically like a balcony where you can sit out if you want very nice you can see the uh, this is the shell door hydraulically operated shell door and you can see on the left hand side over there, that there is where the big uh, metal thing will come out. There's one on either side to lock that door in place once it's closed so it'll never open at sea.
All right, so, so what have we got going on here? We've got a um, forward uh, tender garage, uh, hydraulically operated um, door, and then you've got a hydraulic davit inside as well, which obviously will, will come out from there and come out and then, and then they'll drop the boat out into the water. That's an interesting design. Because obviously it lim it's limited how far around that can come because of the bulkhead. So that's quite interesting. I'm sure it works though. Okay, I get a lot of questions about how a vessel is... When I, when I film a vessel docking and, you, and I show the, what's happening at the stern, I get a lot of people asking me how the vessel is secured at the bow. Well, you can see here, this is how it's done. So these uh, lines are going to fixed uh, places on the, on the seabed. Now in some, in some marinas, they have a, a line to the seabed and they have a shackle and they can pull it up and they can connect the line to it without having to go in the water. But in Monaco, they have divers and uh, the divers come in and, f and uh, put those lines down for you. Now, each time that happens, you have to pay 1,500 euros to the divers. And the award for best name goes to this boat. Okay, so no introduction needed for this boat. This is Moti Yacht Scat. Now, uh, I get more comments about the name of this boat than I think any other boat that I've ever put on my channel. Uh, Moti Yacht Scat, obviously uh, built by uh, Lursen in uh, 2002, it was delivered. And it was project number 9906, which is painted on the side of the vessel. This is one of the first vessels, one of the first super yachts to come out that was reminiscent of a, a warship. It's got that look. And it's owned by Charles Chimigny, who is the soft, former software engineer from Microsoft. Um, he's also uh, uh, one of the first space tourists. He went up into uh, the Russian, the International Space Station. He paid, I think it was 60 million he paid to do that. And he's done it twice. This vessel is for sale because he's building a new one, which has already been launched. Uh, but it's still being finished, and this has been for sale since then. It's a 71 meter, and, uh, or 230 feet, and it weighs about 1,600 tons. I've done plenty of videos on this boat in the past. I'll put some links below and uh, in the corner if you want to check it out. This is uh, Motiath Invictus, 66 meter, or 210 feet, 215 feet and it's, uh, it was built in 2013 by Delta Marine in the United States. And it has a capacity for 12 guests in nine cabins. Interestingly, uh, the crew on board are rocking the uh, full naval uniform type. I don't know whether you can see them down there. There's a guy here, look, chief engineer by the looks of it. We're in the full, uh, the full outfit. So that's something that you don't see very often uh, in the CPR industry, looking like a naval officer. So that's quite interesting. You can see they've got a bit of a beach club going on here. Uh, so they've got the, uh, the stern door folded down, out if you like, uh, with a full uh, um, furniture out there. They've got some sea bobs and uh, a little uh, dumb waiter in there. I thought it was a bar at first, but it's actually not. Um, yeah, quite nice. There's a, there's a couple of people sitting there having their lunch. <laughs> you don't see that very often at yacht show. Sitting down for lunch. All right, check this out. This is a Moti Yacht Azteca, uh, built in 2009. It was originally uh, called uh, Clarena 2. And uh, but look, at, just look at the stern section here. So you've got the stern door open with the rails out. So you can imagine, imagine being at anchor somewhere, really nice, Caribbean or something. And then you've got the bar in the corner there, the little bar there that they can set up. I don't know whether you can see it. Let me just try and zoom in. There's a little bar in the corner and uh, you've got the chairs and beds and stuff and you can just sit out here 
and just take, take in the nice weather. What a life, eh? Alright, so I'm in one of the uh, tents, one of the buildings, and this is a technical building. So they've got things like the flare cameras, uh, they've got the yacht, yacht signs, um, all the technical equipment that go into building a super yacht. And over the next couple of days, we'll go through some of the equipment that's on show, like the Furuno radar system, I, or the integrated bridge system. I did one a few years ago. I put it out last year as a Furuno demo, but that's actually old technology now, incredible. And I'm gonna go and see the new one. I'm gonna do a demo with the new equipment that they've got on show. Alright guys, I'm going to wrap it up here for the day. Um, I thought I would finish with the Reavers in the background, the beautiful Reaver yachts that I, uh, I love so much. Uh, I just caught one leaving just before I started filming. Anyway guys, I'll leave it here. I've given you some, uh, some, uh, a hint of what the show has to offer and we're going to go through it in a little bit more depth over the next few days, do a few yacht tours as well. So stay tuned. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what your favorite bit of, the, of this video was and let's talk about it in the comments. All right guys, take it easy and I'll catch up with you soon. Bye-bye. Yeah,